Hello. In this video, I'll be discussing the basic functions of Google Chrome. Google Chrome is very similar to other browsers, but it has a few special features that make it unique and easier for the user. You might notice that just like other browsers, Chrome has an address bar up top. In Chrome, they call it the Omnibox because it will search for websites. For instance, if you wanted to go to edutopia.org, it would take you there. But one thing that makes it special that other browsers won't do is that it's also a search box. So if you wanted to know what is the temperature in Key West, you could just type that into the search box and it would list your answer. This works with all kinds of other things. Basically, what you want to do is just however you would say the question to a person, type it in just like that into Google, and that would be a good start of finding your answer. Another good thing about the Omnibox is that you can use this as a calculator. So if you wanted to say, what is 8 times 15? You would just type that into the Omnibox, and it pulls up a calculator for you. You can also, once you're here, just use your mouse to click different equations like 9 times 65 and so on and so forth. Another good thing about the Omnibox is that it serves as a uh, conversion measuring chart. So if you wanted to know how many ounces are in 130 gallons, you could type that in. And it tells you right there, 130 gallons equals 16,640 ounces. Another nice thing about Chrome is when you select a new tab up here, it will bring you to a list of your most frequented websites. So if you were using Edutopia or Drive or you know your top eight websites, you can easily click to them just with two clicks. Finally, another great function in Google Chrome is that it really allows you to make bookmarks very easily. So for instance, if we were going to Edutopia on a daily basis, you could easily bookmark it by uh, right-clicking here, and we can just make a folder. So we'll click up here in the toolbar, and we'll add a folder, and we'll call this Educational. And now we have a folder there, and we can just drag this into the educational folder. And now we have a link to it, so we can get back to it very quickly. So these are just a few of the basic functions of Google Chrome. If you have any questions, feel free to comment or send me a message, and I will try and get back to all of them. Thanks, have a good day.